certificate auto enrollment for Macs that have been centrified and joined to Active Directory. First, we're going to have to create a template that is suitable for uh, Centrify to consume. Then we're going to modify the CA to issue uh, those type of templates or certificates based on that template. We're going to modify the GPO to enable certificate auto enrollment. And then we're going to verify and test. But first, why do you need a workstation um, certificate? The most common use that I see typically is um, uh, recently, especially with Macs, is environments that may have uh, 802.1x. And 802.1x is an authentication mechanism that can be used for Wi-Fi networks or Ethernet networks. This provides non-repudiation and encryption. But you need to have a certificate, you need to manage the life cycle, and auto-enrollment in Windows is amazing because it allows you to uh, basically issue, revoke, and manage the life cycle in a way that is pretty much hands-off. With Centrify, it's very simple to uh, enable 802.1x uh, on Macs, and this can be done either with the on-premise agent or also with the user suite with the cloud agent. But um, when you look at those GPOs, ultimately they all require a certificate. So if you look at the Ethernet uh, GPO, it's basically going to ask you for uh, a cert. Um, if I go into properties here uh, and I'm going to enable it, it's going to tell me what's the template that I'm going to be using. Same thing for the Wi-Fi. But, you know, uh, this is very easy and pretty much we're going to be doing this with Jerry's account. He's a, you know, he's an administrator. And, uh, but in the, in the real world, you need a CA administrator and probably maybe a domain admin to get involved. So first step, we're going to open MMC. I already have it open here. Um, and we need to open a couple of snap-ins. So the first one we're going to open is the uh, certificate template snap-in. And we're going to open the, um, uh, we're going to open also the certification authority. And this is uh, a test lab guide based environment. So you know that the, the root CA is DC1. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to that one. Before we go and do this, uh, just to show you, uh, this te test lab guide has already the root certificate um, involved in this situation here. So by joining the my machine to the domain, I already get the root certificate. The root certificate basically is what establishes the trust is already in the system certificates so whatever certificates issued by that root CA are going to be trusted by my system let's go back to setup so first I need to create a template uh, I'm gonna make uh, a very simple a couple of simple changes here um, and, but you should really know what you're doing sometimes depending on uh, if you're using Cisco or if you're using a different brand it may have it on its own quirks in terms of how the certificate has to be created. So I'm going to duplicate the workstation authentication uh, template. I'm going to set it up down to be compatible with, with 2003 CAs. And I'm just going to give it a name. So Centrify um, Auto Enroll. And the things that I need to do, I have to give it a subject name. Um, and we're going to construct this from uh, Active Directory, so that's the common name, the, the DNS name. In extensions, I'm going to go ahead and add. It already has client authentication, but I'm going to put server authentication on it. And depending on what you need to do, you can add more, uh, more extensions. And finally, I'm going to make sure that from a security perspective, uh, domain computers has the ability to enroll and auto-enroll. So three steps, um, change the subject name, add some extensions based on your needs, and then modify the security. So let me go ahead. I think that I actually might have reused that temp template. So let's just uh, go ahead and, and change that. All right, so I have uh, my certificate already ready. All I need to do is tell my CA to start using that, um, that uh, certificate template. So let's go ahead and um, in under the CA, I'm going to go over, over certificate templates. I'm going to tell them to, to uh, issue a new type of certificate based on a template. And I'm going to pick my Centrify Auto Enroll Max. And everything is ready on the CA side. Now I need to modify my GPO 
so it knows, hey, I want you to do uh, enrollments. So I'm gonna go back to my um, corporate settings GPO, and I'm gonna go up to, uh, to the window settings, security settings, public key, key policies. And here, this is the, there's several ways to do it. We could do it all the way over, over here, but we're gonna do it with this GPO here. And we're gonna enable it. And we're gonna renew, expired, update, and whatnot. And um, once this is done, uh, it should be ready in Active Directory. So we've made changes in Active Directory. Notice that we, we are tied to replication. I have two DCs running here, but what I'm gonna do is you know, I need to just do an 80 flush. So I'm gonna clear, I'm gonna do an 80 flush. Basically because I've made changes in the in the directory, I need to go and get them back because I don't wanna wait 60 minutes. And now, um, because we just modify a GPO in Windows we have GP update, in Centrify very consistent, we have 80 GP update. So this is going to go and refresh the computer policy just like a Windows machine and then go and refresh the user policy. Once the computer policy is completely refreshed, we, we take a look in here and notice that now we have a new certificate that has been issued. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this certificate uh, has the name of the computer, Mac 109, and uh, let's take a look. Um, from here, this is my cert. And as you can see, uh, it's valid until next year. That's the way I have, have it set up on the template. So there you go. It was configured today and it's good for a year. And um, uh, another way that I can verify that is by looking at my CA and looking at uh, the uh, certificates that have been issued. So if you look at issued certificates, notice that I have this Mac 109 in here. And finally, if you want to get very technical, you can go down to the command line and uh, uh, you need to go to the uh, var centrify uh, net search. And in here, if I do list uh, the files, notice that I have a few files in here. And these are my certificates. And if I look at, um, you know, one, one is the curl. And if I look at that cert, uh, cat trust. And uh, let's see, and tab. This is my certificate. Anyway, so uh, for you to enable uh, certificate auto enrollments on Macs uh, using Centrify is very simple. Uh, uh, the Mac is gonna pick up the root CA automatically uh, just by joining the domain uh, with Centrify. And then you need to configure a proper template. Um, make sure that your CA is issuing that temp that certificates based on that template, and uh, that the, your GPO is set for auto enrollment. And I hope this uh, this actually helps. And hopefully we can have some 802.1x or user search in the future. Thank you.